Now, we're going to discuss reactions of thiols. Thiols are the sulfur analog of alcohols, meaning that they look exactly like alcohols except that the oxygen is replaced for a sulfur. So how does it exactly react? Let's find out. Thiols are more acidic than a typical alcohol. If you see it, sulfur is a little bit bigger in size and the size effect said that the bigger the molecules get, the easier it is to give up an hydrogen and get a lone pair. Thales are going to contain a very acidic hydrogen. What that means is that it's going to be easy to pull off that hydrogen and it's easy to make it a nucleophile after it's exposed to base. After exposed it to base, pull off that hydrogen. It's going to be a great nucleophile when the sulfur has a negative charge in it and it is called a thiolate. A thiolate nucleophile is going to be capable of performing a few different reactions. And that's what we want to go over right now. We can do sulfide synthesis through a thiol and we can also do disulfide synthesis. Now let's start off with the easier one which is sulfide synthesis. In sulfide synthesis, we start off with thiol. That looks just like an alcohol except it's got the S and I react it with base. The base is going to deprotonate the H and make thiolate an ion. Then thiolate and ion performs an S into reaction on an alkyl halide and alkylate. So what we wind up is getting a sulfide knowingly, the analog to an ether, just with S instead of the O for the ether. Now let's go ahead and look at how this full mechanism. Now let's draw it out and make sure that we're all the same. First step, the base is going to grab the acetic hydrogen of the thiol. Obviously, the hydrogen doesn't want to have two bonds, so we make a bond and break a bond and we wind up getting thiolate and ion. So we got the thiolate and ion. Now, what can that do when exposed to an alkyl halide? Well, if it's exposed to the right type of alkyl halide, it's going to do an SN2. Now, what does it mean by right type? Obviously, a tertiary alkyl halide does not able to work because remember that tertiary alkyl halides cannot perform an SN2 reaction. But mostly, if it's primary or secondary, it's going to work. So we're just going to add here that this would have to be a primary or a secondary alkyl halide. So we've got the backside attacked, the SN2 reaction, and what's going to get as their product is simply a sulfur with now whatever that R group was. Now, whatever that R group, it could be whatever we wanted. Just pick the alkyl halide of choice. So, that's how we make a sulfide out of a thiol. So guys, did you learn a lot from the video? Send us your feedback and... Thank, thank you guys for watching! watching.